Hi everyone, welcome to that short video um, review on uh, a very cool and interesting new email client for Linux, um, which is called N1 or Nihilus N1. Um, the whole, what, what makes this project so, so interesting to me is, well, it just, first of all, it's, it's open source, so the whole source code is on GitHub. And um, when you look at these sort of intro images, it actually looks like a really nicely polished application. That's something you really rarely see um, on, on Linux. And that, of course, um, I know those are Mac OS X images, so um, they are not made um, on a Linux distribution. But anyway, I mean, it's available for Linux. So I thought, like, at least give it a try and have a look um, how it actually feels on Linux. And I was um, fortunate enough to, to get one of these invitation codes and I was able to, to download the, the, the dev package for my Ubuntu um, 15.10 and installed it, went like a breeze, and there we go. So I was, I was deeply surprised when I, when I first opened um, the application. The whole process of initialization is already done, so um, you're not seeing that one. But basically, it asked me um, what kind of what type of account do I have, and, and do I have Hotmail or Gmail? And I said, well, it's just Gmail. I added my credentials. I was forwarded to um, a Google login page, and so on. Connection went really easily, and and then you're presented with that screen. So the, the whole setup process is very very simple and intuitive. And, and this is what it looks like. So, so to the left, you have your accounts. For, for me, I only have one. Then you have a middle pane with your new messages. Then of the currently highlighted one, one to the right, you have just the text. And this is the sidebar of the people um, you're, you're uh, emailing with. And you can enable or disable that to, to have more space in the middle. And you can even like resize it if you want. Um, so on a first glance, I, I'm, I'm really, really surprised. I mean, this is like for a Linux application, this looks gorgeous. This looks really, really great. It's by far the best um, appearance of an email client that I've seen on Linux. Um, I, I tend to be um, an, uh, a Gmail interface user. So I, for a long time, I used Gmail offline, which kind of looks the same way. So if we compare it with Gmail offline, um, if you have a look at that one, um, it, it, it basically looks the same. It has the primary pane and this one. Um, so, well, it doesn't have the, the far left one, um, which of course makes sense because I only have one account in Gmail here. I could have many more. Um, and, and then like, if, if you're like a Gmail user like me, um, you, you have support for all your use keyboard shortcuts. For example, if I press just C, I'm presented with this dialogue to, to compose a new message. And again, it just feels very smooth and very slick. And it provides some really interesting features like a translation feature. Of course, attachments is possible. You have a template system. Everything um, I haven't played with yet, but which I will definitely try out. The only thing I'm missing right now as I'm testing it, and I will probably provide a feedback here in the bottom right, is um, I don't have my aliases yet. I mean, I'm a heavy user of Elias's, um of in Gmail, and um, my my like Gmail offline, for example. Let's switch back to Gmail offline uh, or inbox by Gmail. It doesn't really matter which one we're looking at. They do have support for um, custom for multiple from addresses, so I could select my my students' email, my personal, or um, my my Gmail one, um, which is as of now not the case for um, Nihilus, or at least I haven't found that um, option to, to add multiple aliases. So, but all in all, I would say this is a really, oh, this is my annoying timer. Sorry for that. Um, you might wonder what is that? Well, it's tomate. <laughs> anyway, um, all in all, I would say this is a really, really cool, uh, promising client and, um, it looks it looks stable. It looks solid and usable. So, um, if you haven't had the chance to get an invitation code as of now, 
then um, definitely, I would definitely say stay tuned and then try to find a release um, once it's available to the public because that's a very interesting email client on Linux. Thank you, guys.